The Department of Homeland Security is well known for its failure to secure the border. You are about to see why some call Washington, D.C. a swamp. It was recently reported that the Border Patrol is planning to build a 160-foot tower in the Coronado National Monument. The tower will be placed on Montezuma Pass, one of the highest spots on the entire border and a favorite tourist spot. But soon, the new tower may mar that view. Let's take a look at our government's record on the border. Technical flops such as the virtual fence cost the taxpayers well over $1 billion, and they are still at it. The new integrated fixed towers are essentially the same idea. A big contract was given, but CBP put them in the strangest places. Hi, my name is Glenn Spencer, and I have been running American Border Patrol, a nonprofit, for the past 14 years. I predicted that the Boeing virtual fence would fail because there was no way to know if it was working. It failed four years later, just as I had predicted. The Huachuca Mountains have long been a favorite corridor for illegal aliens and drug smugglers. In recent years, illegal activity has dropped off, but the problem still exists. The Huachuca Mountains happen to be the home of Army intelligence. The border south of Fort Huachuca is protected by a vehicle barrier made up of railroad rails and barbed wire fence that is often cut by border crossers. This Mexican huachero is repairing the stock fence to keep cattle from wandering across the border. In Apache, Huachuca means thunder and the monsoon range produced plenty of thunder and rain along the Huachuca mountain range. Monsoons scour out deep washes that are surrounded by an oak forest, creating plenty of places for people to avoid detection. Ground sensors can detect movement, but they are extremely unreliable. Dragging tires make a smooth surface that can reveal footprints, but smugglers cover up their shoes with carpet. There is a place high up in the Huachucas that overlooks a large area just north of the border. It is not used to look east as there is an 18-foot steel fence and a camera tower that defend that area. The U.S. Border Patrol has stationed a mobile radar-guided camera system on the Overlook. The view from the Overlook is mostly of heavy scrub oak forest. Not seen are the numerous deep washes. A GoPro camera was used to record the view from the ground. This shows an area of fairly light vegetation compared to most of the view shed. A second GoPro video shows another area. Note the heavy vegetation and deep washes to the west. The idea that a camera on the overlook can see people moving in this area who wish not to be seen is fanciful at best. Despite these serious questions, DHS is still planning to stick a 160-foot tower at the Montezuma Pass. It is believed that it will be similar to this tower recently installed near Nogales, Arizona. It would be placed at the south end of the parking lot at the scenic overlook. Instead of the usual 80-foot tower, the new Montezuma Tower will be 160 feet tall. The additional height is necessary to provide a line of sight to the closest border patrol station. There are serious questions that must be asked before the government installs a 160-foot tower in the Coronado National Monument. What has been the success of the existing camera in detections that led to apprehensions? Placing a 150-foot tower in the middle of a scenic overlook is a bad idea unless there is no alternative. A closer look at the site suggests there is an alternative. The camera equipment that sits atop the tower could easily be installed on a nearby hill. 
It is closer to the border. It is 300 feet higher than the Overlook parking lot, and it is accessible by foot. The solar panel could be mounted on the side of the hill, along with a microwave antenna. There is a foot trail leading to the camera location, and it would be easy for maintenance. The schedule is being accelerated. Is this to allow construction to begin before the 45th president is sworn in on January 20th? Is this to avoid closer scrutiny by the new administration? This ill-conceived plan for a huge tower in an area supervised by the National Park Service should be halted immediately so these questions can be answered in a public forum. Representative Martha McSally is chairwoman of the House Border and Maritime Subcommittee. Her district includes Fort Huachuca. Contact her and let her know how you feel about the Montezuma mistake. Contact the chairman of the Senate Homeland Security Committee and tell him about the Montezuma mistake. Before you sign off, take a quick look at a solution to the Montezuma mistake. The SECURE Act of 2006 called for the construction of a double-layered fence at this very location. But an amendment to the law allowed DHS to decide what kind of fence so they built this. President-elect Trump has promised a wall along the border. Most likely it will actually be a double-layered fence, something like this in Yuma. It is still possible for determined people to climb over a fence. American Border Patrol has been testing a system called SIDAR right. that uses buried sensors to detect border crossers. These sensor detections are used to guide electronic drones to the target. People right. It's all solar powered and it works day or night. If you can, contact the Trump Organization and tell them we need SIDAR to back up his wall.